Rob McNeil had retired in 1985, maybe? I may not have the date right. But Jim Lehrer, it was the, Jim, it was the news hour with Jim Lehrer when I came on in 1999, in October. Ray Suarez and I were hired the same day, and we joined uh, Margaret Warner, and I think Elizabeth Barnes was still on the program, and um, I don't remember who else. I feel like I'm missing someone important, but because Judy Woodruff didn't come back until a couple of years later. But na but what, what we ended up doing, Jim was always the guy in charge. He's the guy who decided what the, the rhythm of the program was, what the assignments of the program was, how the kinds of stories we would tell, and how we would tell them. And he was pretty rigid about what he believed news to be. And so we were, he was around, he surrounded himself with people who saw the world pretty much the same way. Uh, we didn't do a lot of the crazy stuff. And it suited me, because I didn't like doing crazy stuff. And it turned out, it's, it's, it's at, at the news hour where I started to do a lot more anchoring, something I also resisted in the same way I resisted television. I didn't like the idea of being trapped in a studio, chained to a desk and reading the news every night. But if you can find a way to make it work with lots of other things, which is what we do, because we do interviews, we're not just reading the news, um, it, can be very, it can be very interesting and it can be very engaging. And I never know for sure whether it is until I go out on the road in the country and people tell me how much they enjoy it.